So this video is going to go through the solution for page 331, question 18, which again is a similar triangles question. So there's two parts in this question. First of all, we want to show that the triangle ADB and the triangle APC are similar. So looking at our diagram, let's just identify where those triangles are first. So ADB, notice, is actually a big triangle over here on the left-hand side. And the triangle APC is this triangle here on the right of the diagram. So if I want to show that they're similar, I need to be able to show that their angles all match up. So I already have this piece of information that these two angles are equal, because that's identified in the diagram. And I need to find other pairs of angles that also are equal. So again, I want to think about the theorems that I've looked at in relation to the circle. So think about theorem 19 particularly and one of its corollaries. So in this scenario, what I'm looking at is that the angle at D here, the angle BDA, and the angle here at C, the angle PCA, are equal. And the reason for that is because they're both standing on the same arc. And it might be helpful to actually turn your diagram around in order to be able to see that. So I want to make a note of both of those angles in my written part. And I'm going to say that this angle, first of all, BAD, equals to the angle PAC and of course don't forget to give a reason and the reason here is that I was told it in the original diagram so it's given. These two angles are here. They're equal as well. BDA equals to the angle ACP. The reason for that is on the same arc. And of course, if I've managed to match up two of my angles, well, it means that the third angle must match as well, since the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So finally, I can say that this angle and this angle are also equal in size. So I can say the angle ABD equals to the angle APC. And I can just say third angle in triangle. And since I've managed to match up every angle in the triangle ADB with an angle in the triangle ABC, I can say that implies that the triangle ADB and the triangle APC are similar. And my reason is AAA. So that's part one of the question completed. Part two is Hence, show that AC by BD equals AD by PC. Now, don't forget that if I'm seeing the word hence in my question, it means that I want to use what I've done up until this point. So just bear that in mind generally in maths problems. And I'll notice that AC is a side of that triangle APC that we were dealing with recently. And BD which is this guy here, is a side of the left-hand triangle, and AD is a side of the left-hand triangle, and PC is a side of the right-hand triangle. So what I'm really trying to do here is create those fractions that I can make when I have two similar triangles because the sides of two similar triangles are going to be in proportion. Before I begin to actually work out my solution for this, though, I should start by drawing the two triangles facing in the same orientation and so I'm going to begin by doing that and I would advise you at this point to pause the diagram, uh, sorry pause the video I should say and try and draw those two triangles yourself side by side facing the same direction and then see can you make your fractions and then unpause the video and see if what you get matches up with what I've got. So I've just taken my two triangles and reorientated them very slightly. There wasn't much to do, to be honest, in this particular diagram because they were pretty much facing this direction anyway. It was just a little bit of a nudge needed. OK, so I'm looking at what I want to show, ACBD and ADPC. So I'm going to try and make two fractions. So that one of which involves AC and one of which involves BD. So let's see what I can do with that. So let's see, I've got this side AB, okay, that isn't mentioned up here. I've got this side BD, oh yeah, I can see that mentioned. So I'm going to say BD over PC. That looks promising because PC is also mentioned up here. So BD 
over PC equals to AD. Yeah, AD is mentioned up there over AC. Yeah, that looks good. So AD over AC. So now this looks quite like what I'm trying to show. I've got all the different components necessary, just not in quite the order that I want. But I can get to what I want pretty easily. What do you think I'll have to do? Pause the video, have a think. See, can you get to the last line now? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I don't want fractions, I want multiplication. So I'm going to take my denominators up and multiply them by the far side. So that is going to give me the result of AC by BD equals to AD by PC, which is exactly what I was trying to get. So it has been shown. Notice that I've got a dot in between my line lengths here, AC and BD. That dot in this context just indicates multiplication.